We leave you tonight with some cute and at times confusing conversations. A media host in Toronto is picking up the phone and calling people on the East Coast. The chats with strangers leading to a successful series. Here's CTV's Heather Wright. Hello. Hey, you. How are you? Not too bad. And you? They are perhaps the nicest prank calls. And what's for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't know. Godfish. Jack Irwin, a radio and podcast host, dials random Nova Scotia numbers to see how long the person on the other end of the line will chat. Well, I wanted to check in. I heard you guys are getting buckets of rain. I couldn't believe it. The idea started during a trip back home to Dartmouth, Nova Scotia this summer. Irwin now lives in Toronto, but she was feeling nostalgic for the East Coast. So I was like, why not call the White Pages? It kind of just spiraled. Millions of people have now watched videos of the calls. Did you get fries? Irwin's East Coast accent quickly charming the stranger who happened to pick up. I think that through the pandemic especially there was such a loss, loss of connection um, in, in so many ways and sometimes it's nice just to chat about how the weather is, what's for dinner and how you're doing. Irwin says if she senses any hesitation or confusion in someone's voice, she will say wrong number and hang up. Usually they just keep talking because they don't want to admit they don't know who they're talking to. So the question we had, are people in Ontario as nice and friendly as those down east? Okay, so we're going to test out a theory. After a few tries, we reached Rodney. How you doing? Not too bad. What's going on today? Not very much. Good, good. Irwin says she enjoys these calls and connection it gives her to friendly strangers. In a world that sometimes feels a bit dark and isolating, it's nice just to talk to people. So if a block number calls you, you might want to answer. Is it starting to pour there or how's the weather? No, well, it's okay here right now. It's clouded over. But you never know who might be on the other end of the line. Heather Wright, CTV News, Toronto.